When we watch a movie where the editing is in sync with the rhythm, tone, and identity of the story, and where the logic matches that of the film, we should salute the work of the video editor, who assembled the messy bits of the story into one coherent piece of art. I have a great job, and I love being an editor because I get to see the movie from every perspective, and I don't know how many jobs there are that allow you to do that other than director. I think that says a lot about how important editing is in the process. This ability to immerse us in the film's emotional situations without making it obvious that various pieces of software have been used. We rarely think of the involvement of a video editor in the final product, and that's okay. Some well-known video editors in the industry have adopted a video editing software that is used in many big productions, and is considered to be an industry standard. We could safely say that Avid Media Composer is hands down on top of that list. That's what I like about Abbott, that I can use my footage quite well. I'm fast, but I do try and make sure I'm not too fast, because by the end of the cut, you could have many versions of one scene, and you don't want to get snowblinded. You want to keep focused on the true intention of the film. Avid Media Composer is an all-in-one video editing software made by Avid Technology. It was originally released back in 1996, and since then, it has been one of the most used editing software for filmmakers and video editors in the industry. Avid is a leading manufacturer of digital video editing and post-production software, in which they claim to be the best. They have made a name for themselves, especially in the video editing market, since they introduced the first digital non-linear editing system that was specifically designed for the video editing industry. Although it wasn't the first NLE on the market, it was the first to make a good impression in the industry. It has been the industry's most popular non-linear editing system, first on the Macintosh and then on Windows since the 90s. Avid Newscutter, that is intended at newsrooms, and Avid Symphony, that is geared towards finishing, were all developed for Media Composer and shared similar interfaces, as was Avid Express Pro and its predecessor, Avid Express DV, geared at the lower end of the market. Avid Media Composer is nothing like any other video editing software you've ever used in the past. Not only is it hard to start editing as a beginner right away without any issue, but the complexity of the workspace will make you scratch your head more than once in the process. If you think it's as simple as using Adobe Premiere Pro, you're in the wrong. But fear not, once you learn the basics, you can do pretty much anything using this wonderful program. Large projects, such as a documentary series with hundreds of hours of film, are best served by Media Composer. Its bin system and hierarchy of clips and subclips are great for organizing content, as long as you follow a disciplined process and don't just throw anything away. Trim is a strong tool with a variety of options to choose from. Most tasks can be done in a variety of ways, and the interface may be customized in a variety of ways too. Avid Media Composer is a software used by professionals in the industry and offers a straightforward user experience thanks to its updated user interface. With task-oriented workspaces, you can get the tools you need when you need them. Bin mapping and navigation let you find media quicker. Work more fluidly with the sleek, modern UI, which has a smart panel layout that reduces complexity, so you can focus on what matters most, your narrative. In Avid Media Composer, you may organize the windows in any way you like. Users can choose from four different preset configurations, each with its own focus. Edit, color, effects, and audio are all listed on the right side of your screen. Mixing audio is a crucial skill to master, and the audio mixer is the tool you'll use to do the majority of mixing jobs in Media Composer. The audio mixer will be at the heart of your workflow. Whether it's balancing track levels, panning tracks to widen the stereo field, or adding effects for flavor and mood. Equalization, abbreviated as EQ, is the process of lowering or raising the volume level of specific frequencies in an audio source to make them less or more apparent, quieter or louder. So what is the definition of a frequency? That phrase refers to the number of regular variations, also known as oscillations, in a sound wave that occur in a second. 
A low note is defined as a sound with a low frequency, or few waves per second. The sound is a high note if there are a lot of waves per second, a high frequency. Track effects is a handy feature in Media Composer. We can apply effects to a whole track in the audio mixer, which speeds up your total process. There are five empty buttons above the channel fader, and clicking on one of them brings up the audio track effect tool. Very simple to use. You may also use keyframes, which are often known as automation, to create a mix. This is a strong editing method, but it's also time demanding. Then there's the audio mixer's master bus, which allows you to alter the audio of the whole timeline without having to adjust a single clip. With a sophisticated software-defined storage solution that supports real-time collaboration, you can speed up your media process. Across Flash, Online, Nearline, and Cloud Storage tires, Avid Nexus delivers the dependability, scalability, and security you need to store, manage, and access material. It's the option that professionals use to assist them adjust to today's unpredictably produced media. No matter what tools you use, Avid Nexus accelerates your media workflow by allowing hundreds of Avid and third-party artists to connect, exchange media, and collaborate in real time from anywhere. Access your full media collection across different storage levels, allowing teams to better manage your content's lifetime and to manage crucial projects, swiftly respond to changing priorities and demands by reallocating capacity, bandwidth, and disk protection on the fly. Media Composer's rock-solid media handling is one of the reasons editor appreciate it. Hundreds of hours of video in a variety of formats are sometimes required for large projects. Fortunately, Media Composer maintains track of all of these elements for the editing crew. The process automatically organizes source material, output files, and metadata. As a result, your team can concentrate on editing rather than wrangling, organizing, and locating footage. Avid offers a wide selection of storage solutions that are ideal for sharing media with Media Composer. Avid Nexus Pro is a cost-effective and lightning-fast solution that allows teams to seamlessly exchange assets and tasks. In Avid Pro Tools, for example, multiple editors can sweeten audio or work on VFX in Adobe After Effects. Even sequences from other editing systems, such as Apple Final Cut Pro X or Adobe Premiere Pro, may be shared in real time on the same network by production teams. Avid Media Composer has been the industry standard for professional editors for over 25 years. When it comes to assistant editors on the field, Avid offers cutting-edge technology that enables teams to collaborate more quickly. Learning Media Composer is not that simple. It's sometimes counterintuitive, with elements hidden in unexpected locations. Although the application can handle most editing combinations, certain tools are overly difficult to find or need a workaround when compared to Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro. Collaboration with other workstations on a similar project is really simple. Nexus allows two users or more to work together in a seamless manner. However, error messages might pop up now and then, and can be difficult to understand at times. For beginners, this might be intimidating, but with the appropriate guidance, it is all too simple. And you can become an expert certified Avid Media Composer editor and find an Avid professional on their website that will teach you everything you need to know about the software and more. We hope you found this video useful and informative. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can be notified when we release any new content. Thank you for watching as always, and see you next time.